Indian artists and their big comeback in the global arena. That's really been the theme of 2014. The first Christie's India auction set the base for modern master Guy Tonde, who finally found recognition and popularity for his rare but exquisite works that the art market is always eager to source. Hussein or Raza, they're much more prolific, while Guy Tonde painted five or six paintings a year. When one does come into the market, invariably a, a new record is created because it's just so difficult to get. A record 28 crores for his untitled work to a major retrospective at the Guggenheim Museum in October this year. The man ensured his position among the top five moderns. They, they kind of broke away from the academic colonialism, um, that style of painting that was prevalent in India and they integrated European influences, particularly European modernism, but they did it, uh, in most cases, they did it in a very kind of Indian way. So they came up with something new and original. Any collector who wants to build a comprehensive collection of Indian art has to have works by these artists. And the latest Christie's auction reinforced this even more. With Tayyab Mehta's falling bull breaking in over 17 and a half crores, and becoming the top seller of the December 2014 sale. Followed by Souza's Indian Family and Gaitonde's 1998 untitled work.